Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to try to do this. I don't know quite how I'm going to do it. I think I'll just show the tank. And not worry about showing me. And I'll try to stay out of the way. So you can see what's happening. Get my tool. My plants are at the other end, so I'm going to have to walk around again. So let's just start with a couple of groups. Okay. I've got a couple of different plants here. This is Anubius and Java Fern on wood. So we're going to put this kind of in this area, get it down in the sand a little bit. Now what I have here is a, one Amazon sword and several um, Get the Amazon sword. First, that's going to go in here, about midway. And then these are Sagittarius. I've got several big ones. They're going to go over here and they will kind of drain the tank. So I want to get them in so that the uh, they're in deep enough to be able to get down to the dirt. We're going to hide them kind of behind the rocks because they're canopy out over the rocks. Okay, now I think this fern is going to go to the back. Get it slightly angled and put it up against the rock. Now, I have some baby tears that I collected locally from a pond. So what we're going to try to do is get some bunches of this and get it well down in the soil. So we'll have a chance to take home. This is a plant that is growing wild in a local pond and is um, growing out into fairly deep water. So I've got some soil in it, so I want to kind of get it down to uh, get it down into the soil. Okay, yeah, that should that should work. With these we want to canopy them over. Now let's see what else we have. I have this is another plant that grows locally here in Florida. It's Bacopa, which is wonderful smelling plant, kind of like licorice. We're going to get this in a group back here. And if these have been growing out in my tanks for a while. So they're, um, they've gotten a little taller, which will be helpful. And we'll just kind of line these up along the back here so they'll kind of curtain that side. Is that right? Let's do it this way. Okay. 
Okay, that's better. We need that one also. There. We're going to have some things floating. We'll take care of that in a bit. Now. I've got some other rooted plants here. A whole big bunch of them. They're mostly Valisneria. These are corkscrew Val. We're going to kind of do them in groups. Now, I also have these which are a um, chain store. I'll try to do these in chains. The tweezers make this work. My thumbs are way too fat to be able to do this otherwise. I'm not too worried about having the plants planted precisely to the crown because they've got to get established in here. I've got a couple of really pretty crits that I need to find a good place for. Let's try to get them toward the front. Put the green. More chain sword, quirks for a valve, get one of these down here for now. These quirks for a valve, and this, now this is just a regular valve, that looks like it's a mix. Uh, they came out of my tank that's displayed on another video uh, called my 20 year old my favorite 20 year old tank Let's see where chain swords well See the rest of these, let's try to get toward the back a little bit. So they can kind of canopy out. Let's see, we got 
more stained sword here. Once this is in, we'll have to go back and kind of do minor repairs. What I want to do right now is just kind of get everything in here. You know what I didn't do? I didn't put the filters in. I want to do that. I'm using a couple of sponge filters initially just to kind of get things started. like the bomba. It's a, a great filler plant. It always looks good. This what I'm going to try to do is get it toward the back, kind of behind the rocks a bit, so it just sort of peeks out. I'm not going to see it for a while, maybe. But it'll uh, put the salt in the rocks. Visually. of the macros I decided not to do any of the macros in the tank. I might change my mind later. Okay, now what's left? Red Java Temple, and I have a curly apology. Let's do 
Hamidjian with it. It's got a flower on it. And right down here. Make sure I get the roots in good. And then the red java. And that right back here. Okay, that's pretty much all of the plants that I have set aside. Put a light on it and see what it looks like. The root from that Java tipple is picking up. Okay. That ain't bad. figure out what's wrong with this. Build your arm. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with it. Another one. The valve stems and the sponge filter can get hot. need to be kind of ringed out. Okay. So, there we are. And we can top it off. Let's do that. And there we have a planted tank. That's the um, flower from the Aponajitan. See, get him out from in front of and put it here. Okay. Think the plan. On the log, could even put it in on how it looks on top. You know, like, it'll look like that pretty thing. Here's another pot to be looking at. Create a little more height. This is a large leaf job of fern. I don't like the big leaf ones as well. Because they, they're kind of clunky. But there we are. Okay, let's see if we can get this posted. That's the planted 55 dirted tank. Um, let's have some comments. Tell me what you think.